All right, home sweet home. I, I'm not sure if I already ran through this, but just in case I haven't, um, built myself up a, a nice little spiral staircase down to my mine area. And a water drop for quick access. It's a very deadly water drop. If you uh, slide forward a little bit on that, you're just toast. I glassed it all in. And my little mine here, which I still have plans to uh, open up completely and then start stretching out the other direction, uh, bringing them down this way. What do I have here? Nothing good in place at the moment. And where the heck are we going to go? What are we going to do today? Uh, this is also very boring, so I'll see you back up top again. All right, that's better. I have been um, expanding my base a little bit, digging some stuff out. Um, kind of brought it all the way out this way. If I go straight up from here, I am uh, just on the back side of my island. So I'm going to open all this up, start building up uh, rooms and separating things around. Got my silk touches and whatnot so I can pick up my books. Um, I really, really, really do not like the fact that they turned, uh, that they made bookshelves into needing a silk touch to pick up. I think that's uh, kind of BS. Or at least if they were going to do that, it should give more books back. Usually when I break a bookshelf, I'm getting like one book. And uh, that is just a... Uh, it's kind of a pain. So, let's see here. Where is my silk touch efficiency unbreaking? i just charge that up a little bit more here. Put that one back. Fortune 3, another Fortune 3. I'm all good with those. The stone sword, which is a POS. Uh, some bones. Uh, let's see. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? I've uh, also started opening up this area here. Um, like I said, I'm going to take this all the way up. Uh, just slowly, piece by piece, been tearing things apart. Uh, but I have been kind of away from recording or playing on this LP for a little bit, aside from yesterday. Oh, it's night out. Ah. This is, got skellies dying outside. Still trying to decide what I'm going to do with my uh, lake out front here, my pond. Got to build some walkways and stuff around it so I can get in and out easier. But uh, I kind of want them to look a certain way, at least possibly look a certain way. And uh, haven't quite figured out what the design's going to be yet, so that'll be something else in the future as well. we stand at the moment is huh man there's so many awesome little mounds around here you know what let's go take a trip through the jungle I want to see if I can uh, find me another jungle temple because having more than one jungle temple is always a handy thing um I am still going to be tearing that other one to pieces. Uh, definitely not uh, not leaving it as is. I'll probably be doing that as soon as I finish recording up with you guys today. Um, the Lost Lost Temple is going to be the Lost Lost and Not There Anymore Temple. So... <laughs> Die! 
Let's take a spin through the jungle here, I think. The other thing we need is chickens. So we need a steady source of chickens so we can get ourselves some more arrows. I cleared out the uh, dispensers in my temple uh, for the arrows that were in them finally. So I realized I had forgotten to do that. Uh, but unfortunately, I just have not found a, uh, hmm, weird, okay. I have not found a source of chickens. There were no real chickens by my old base. Uh, I do not see any chickens by my new base so far. Um, I mean, I don't really want to have to do a chicken farm for arrows, but I will. I mean, if I need to, I need to, but it kind of sucks. All right, let's get a sky view look here. We got a snow biome. Need to put myself up an infinite snowman snowblock source. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh, look at it. Oh, it's all so pretty. Such a lovely jungle. And. Oh, since I've got Optifine installed, what the hell, we'll make use of this. It's a little bit cheaty, but it ain't bad. Nothing special that way. At least nothing that pops right out. Hmm, surface lava. I like surface lava. Let's go out and check out the surface lava. So, what do you think? Fall to our death, or will we fly? Down we go. Actually, that may have been a mistake. I got that stupid glitchy water thing going on where it doesn't want to let me out once I'm in. Um, two. No, two ain't gonna cut it. I have a shovel. Why am I doing that? Actually, what I want is a skeleton spawner. That's really, I know you've heard me say it before, but really it's all that I want. I don't care about much else at this point. Just give me some damn skeletons. And I will be a happy, happy boy. We got more cows. Alright, maybe we'll have chickens. That would be super as well. Get out of here. You're ugly. There we are. <clears throat> Chickens! I've got a buttload of freaking seeds at home, but I don't think I brought any of them with me, of course. So we're going to break up some grass here. Find ourselves a few seeds. out. Alright. Ah, six seeds. That'll be good for the moment. We're going to feed some chickens. We're going to have a free range chicken farm. Because chickens are annoying. I hate them. And I don't want them around my base. But these are probably stupid chickens and they're glitchy chickens. So they will most likely kill themselves in lava. 
long before I ever have the chance to harvest them. Come on, stupid chicken. Come on, chicken. Sweet. More baby chicken. Let's get rid of that. Awesome little surface lava pool. Not lighting the jungle on fire. That's a good thing. Ah. More chickens and sheep. So this is going to be an all right bit of chicken dude here. All right. And on that note, let's off the rest of the chickens. No, I don't need chicken. I need feathers. Give me your feathers. I also don't need the stupid pressure plate. That is the pressure plate that killed me. That pressure plate killed my mama. Uh, but if we can't find a jungle temple, then quite possibly... Uh, you know what? We're going to do this the easy way. Die. Do I have... Nope, no shears. All right, so die, die, and die. Give me your wools. No wools either. I don't need that. Oh, my God. Okay, what else don't I need? And I don't need that rose. All right, stop being a pain in my butt. And did we actually... I'm an idiot. Left the house without a crafting bench. Yeah, what else is new? You know what? This thing's just about... Oh, no, bad, 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 bad move. Let's get rid of that one. We want to keep the one that's in one piece. <laughs> All right, crafting bench. Ho, and... Just going to make ourselves a second bed here. On the off chance, I want to sleep the night away. And I'm sitting all right on food. I got a few pieces. I cook myself up some chicken if I need it. Kill some more cows if I like. Let's go look for a desert temple. I have not found one of those on this world yet. Or better yet, a desert skeleton spawner on the surface. <sighs> I know. I got a one-track mind. And strangely enough, for a guy, it's not about sex. Well, it's not always about sex. So, we need a little vantage point. I think this is going to be considered... No, that's still considered desert. <laughs> Pardon me. I'm just going to walk into this. It'll be fine. Ah, more surface lava. There's a lot of freaking surface lava around this place. We got full iron on. We got a fresh brand new iron sword. I'm going to enchant myself up a diamond sword. I've just been too busy keeping my, uh, keeping my pick at good pickaxes in shape using all my levels up on that ooh 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 maybe maybe temple no no temple pain in my ass that's what it is alright you know what yeah, just because I'm more in here for adventuring rather than anything else. Let's go to sleep. Not a bad 
one. Oh, okay, cut it out. Do that. There you go. That's better. <laughs> I don't know why that's so much fun. Uh, so, Mr. Snow Biome, this is where you've been hiding. Did I bring a uh, Fortune 3 pick? Should have brought a Silk Touch pick. Get myself some ice. Not have much need for it quite at the moment, but... Huh. That's a neat little chunk rendering problem. Not looking good, folks. And if all I do is walk around the freaking desert for a while, I'll probably cut all this out and do something useful. Uh, that's kind of awesome, though. You know what? Let's go get ourselves some more steak. We're going to be... Okay. We don't need... Netherrack. I've got so much Netherrack laying around, it's retarded. Okay, I was going to tell me I didn't just miss the beef and pick up the Netherrack last time. Um, we got a cow down bottom. Ah, oh, there we go, more cows. I'm going to slaughter us some cows. Then we're going to keep looking for... Oh, that's what I'm talking about, yo. <laughs> and some more leather, since we don't need a glass bottle. Oh my god, I don't believe I brought all my diamonds with me. That was a really, really stupid idea. Oh, Jason, why are you so dumb? More squiddy. Squiddy, my boy. Alright. Am I carrying, uh... <laughs> of course I'm not. Why would I be carrying coal? What a silly, silly idea that would be. Hmm, surface coal? Give me some surface coal. I didn't want to go caving today. Look at all that leather and beef. Again, don't need another rack. Go away. I want coal and I want a lot of it. So, go ahead and use our fortune pick. Don't worry, folks. I have another one back at the base. Um, fortune and silk touch seems to be the only things I can get, which is fine. Uh, except I feel a little weird using a silk touch and pick for day-to-day -day mining. Uh, I'm looking for is a nice. Well, actually, I mean, my one Silk Touch is Unbreaking Efficiency and Silk Touch. So, that's one to keep fixed up. That's not too bad. But usually I just use a regular Unbreaking and Efficiency pick for uh, my normal mining. And then just deal with the fact that I've got truckloads of cobblestone anyway. Alright, come here, cow. Man, there's so many of you. Should have brought some wheat, too. I gotta keep this little area in mind here. I think I might just build myself another portal over here and uh, use this as 
my, like I said, like a free range, just a free range farm. Kind of did that on our old server world. Uh, I set up, um, when I came on, uh, the area that they had been in, it's like all the cows had just disappeared. There were, there were none around. Uh, or at least not with any consistency. You'd find one here or there, maybe. And uh, a bunch of the other farm animals that had been penned up despawned all of a sudden out of nowhere. So I, uh, one of the things I had done, I had stepped off and found a taiga biome that was just lousy with freaking cows. And... Hmm. Feels like there's something here I can throw away. And uh, basically just started feeding them and breeding them right there. No need for pens, no need for anything. There were so damn many of the things that uh, just wound up not being able to move through the area very much. Uh, until they made it so you can walk through farm animals. That was kind of awesome as well. Alright, well, we've got everything we need for some sticky bits. Plenty, plenty of beef now to keep ourselves in good health. Because, you know, nothing like a diet of pure red meat to keep you in good health. I think. Oh, what the heck is down there? Well, there's a big old cavern down in there somewhere. But we are not caving at the moment. I'm actually going to turn my sound up a little bit in hopes of hearing what I'm looking for. Granted, in the desert, those surface ones rarely actually have any spawning going on. Wow, that's kind of awesome, too. I don't really have any spawning going on since the uh, sand has everything covered up. But essentially we're just looking for a big square hole in the ground. That's... That's right like that. There we are. Oh, please be skeletons. Please be skeletons. Please be skeletons. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a little... Stairway down. Fucking zombies. Damn it. Why you always gotta be zombie? <sighs> you are not useful. Why must you be zombie spawner? bastards have actually spawned up at. Maybe I'll get lucky. Maybe it'll be another part of it attached. Something else attached to it. I don't think so, but occasionally I get lucky.
Die, Mr. Zombie. Die. I said croak it, boy. Get out of here. Leave me alone. Nope, nothing good, nothing useful, nothing worthwhile. So we'll just get ourselves the mossy cobble and be on our way. And the stupid sheep. Out of the way, stupid sheep. Oh, night time. Ain't that always the way. Alright. I'm not going to make you watch me mine all this uh, mossy cobble up, so back in a sec. Alrighty, let's see. That got us uh, a nice little haul of mossy cobblestone, but unfortunately it was not what I was looking for, which is a crying shame. Oh, crap. <laughs> you can go ahead and blow up over there all you want. I think... We're going to want to sleep the night away. Take a little nap. Go away. Hey, stupid sheep. There's a staircase right here. Why are you so derpy? Okay, so... Where the hell did I come from? Huh? <laughs> Getting home, that's going to be the fun part. Um, <clears throat> normally I would have made a compass or something like that, but that wouldn't help me anymore at this point anyway. Yep. Now, I have never found two surface spawners in the same desert, but there's a first time for everything, so... Filled with water... Ooh, wait a minute. Nope, filled with water. Whatever it is, it's got zombies in it, so... And we don't care about zombies. Zombies are boring. Zombies are boring, and besides that, they're fascist. Damn fascist zombies. Oh, <laughs> that's why. That's where I was. Alright. Um, oh well. So be it. It was worth a shot anyway. Give me just a second, guys. I'm going to check how long the recording's been going on here. And uh, I'll be back with you in just a moment. Oofta. I've been running a little bit long on this one. Uh, I think baseline recording, I'm already at about 40 minutes, which is longer than I want to go. So um, I'm probably going to do a little editing in the middle of this one. I do apologize after the fact now. But uh, I will see you guys next time around. And maybe we'll keep looking for something, uh, keep looking for something interesting out here. See you later.